Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Let's start with an update on the drought monitor. This was updated yesterday afternoon. You can see the drought is continuing to shrink. Uh, now just some dry, moderate conditions, uh, moderate drought conditions across some of the Ozarks, but again, shrinking and getting better. And now that's because we've had uh, a really nice wet August. June and July was very dry. For the two months, we only got just over five inches of rain, which put us over three inches below the normal. Then here comes August. In one month, we got nearly seven inches of rain, which put us at three inches above normal, almost the exact that we were below for June and July. So that wet August helped alleviate the drought conditions. And September so far has been an inch above normal uh, on the wetter side of things, and that's because we had the remnants of Gordon come through last week. We've got clear conditions here on the radar this morning. It's dry, and we'll have sunshine once it comes up. It's 68 degrees in Springfield right now. Dew points also very sticky and humid. They're in the middle and upper 60s, so we're going to continue to climb and be a little bit sticky and humid as we head through the afternoon. The reason why is because now we've got a little bit more in the way of a south wind, so we're going to feel warmer and stickier as we head through the next couple of days. A mix of sun and clouds this afternoon, warm, sticky, but nice, 86 degrees by 3 o'clock. We'll have a couple of clouds out there this afternoon with a temperature of 88. Overnight, we're looking at warm and muggy conditions, 68 degrees there. And then by tomorrow, we'll keep a mix of sun and clouds, 87 degrees. Got to start worrying about tiny, tiny isolated shower chances, mainly by Sunday. Temperatures will stay on the summery side of things as we head through the entire week, middle and upper 80s as we head through at next week, our average for this time of September is 82. All right, we've got Florence. You just saw that special report. It is uh, spinning just off the coast of the Carolinas here. That is a Category 1 hurricane with 105 mile per hour winds. That eye. For it to make landfall, so they've been getting battered with hurricane and tropical storm force conditions pretty much since yesterday. But for it to make official landfall, you see that clear center of the eye? That clear center of the eye has to get over land, and it's about to pretty soon. This is the eye wall right over Wilmington. That's where some of those reporters were, where you just see the conditions are, are really not good right now. That's the strongest part of the storm, so we're looking at landfall here very shortly. The wind span of this is incredibly wide, uh, almost 400. 100 miles for those tropical storm force winds. They're seeing hurricane conditions almost 200 miles wide. It's going to continue to meander south before it finally exits to the north and east. So that's going to bring catastrophic flooding rains. You see, this one to two feet area has been getting bigger, looking like more of the Carolinas will see 20 to 25 inches of rain, 30 to 40 inches in isolated spots. And then even inland, too, you're looking at up to a foot of rain. 88 degrees today, warm and sticky, partly cloudy, 68 overnight. Stay Warm. 87 tomorrow, a mix of sun and, sun and clouds, warm and a little bit humid. Quiet here through the next seven days, isolated shower chances possible Sunday onward.